Well, you know, first off, uh, credit to Liberty. They played extremely well, and I thought that, uh, you know, on our side, you know, Chris didn't, didn't have it, didn't have his command of his fastball tonight, but somehow, you know, he managed to get through that second inning uh, with one run, and that saved us. And, uh, and then just enough to get us through five innings at about 110 pitches or so, and, uh, you know, that's all we were looking to get out of him after that second inning. We were thinking if we can just get five out of him, hang in there, uh, maybe pinch, you know, put together a hit or two, and uh, you know, that, that we could bring in the two pitchers that we did, and they both did a tremendous job. You know, Michael Gunn and then and Jacob Stone finished it up there. Uh, I thought our defense did a tremendous job. They had a couple balls real hard right at us. I mean, you got to be lucky every now and then. And, uh, you know, on the offensive side, uh, credit to their, their senior pitcher. I think he showed why he's won 11 ball games this year. The way he pitched with the runners in scoring position was outstanding, and uh, he kept us from adding to that lead. Uh, and that was, you know, whenever you leave a lot of runners out there like that, um, a lot of times it comes back to bite you in the eighth or ninth. I just feel very fortunate that uh, we won the ball game. Questions for the uh, student athletes, and again, if you'll please indicate uh, to uh, which individual you're asking the question. Chris, the uh, getting out of that second inning, what was kind of the sense of relief considering how much struggle you were having with the command of the fastball? <laughs> That's exactly it. The command of the fastball, uh, it was kind of like the LSU series that we played. Uh, I had the off speed. Um, I had no trouble with the off speed at any count. Uh, the fastball is just something that I gotta, I've got to get control of, especially for uh, the games to come, hopefully. Chris, Tom Murphy, Arkansas Democrat Gazette. Can you speak to why you didn't feel like you had it? What, what was what happened? Uh, Coach Jordan said I'm just leaving my backside, not getting it through. Uh, it's just the way my arm works, the arm slot. Um, I'm tall and lanky. I've just got to let the backside come through. And uh, Coach Jordan said it best. I've just got to let it go. This is for Brian. Uh, can you speak to uh, your home run, what pitch you got, kind of what it meant, you think, after the second inning uh, Chris had just gone? Yeah, I mean, it was uh, it was definitely uh, kind of a momentum shifter for us. Uh, you know, I was able to uh, escape that inning, only getting one run across. So, uh, you know, I definitely felt like we were still in the ball game, and you know, no means I was trying to trying to hit a home run there, but I just got an elevated fastball, something I could handle, and just put a good swing on it. Robbie, nice arm, saw news about Chris. Going back to Brian's home run, what, what kind of a lift did that give you after he was able to come out there and tie the game right away after the second? Well, that was awesome. It was like starting a brand new game. Uh, as a pitcher, anytime your team comes back and ties the game, uh, you kind of put it on your shoulders to hold them, hold them at that score. And uh, tonight, our offense was great. We scored three runs, and uh, can't ask for much more. Any other questions for the student athlete? Yeah. Sean Ryan, CollegeBaseballInsider.com. Chris, uh, talk about the, the other pitches you were throwing uh, that bailed you out a little bit and um, how you commanded those when you didn't have the fastball. Um, I work with three pitches mainly, a uh, fastball, curveball, and a circle change. Um, the changeup actually developed this summer in the Cape League. Uh, now I feel comfortable throwing it whenever. I think it actually bypassed the curveball. Uh, tonight, the curveball, it was probably my best pitch, and uh, it got me out of the jam in the second inning. It got me out of the jams uh, that came later, too. Brian, you guys expected to get Virginia. You'll see Virginia tomorrow. What will it take to be able to beat them here? Uh, you know, we're going to have to come come out swinging it. You know, they're going to have, uh, you know, a good, good starter on the bump, and, uh, you know, but we got we got Trey Killian going, so uh, I think it'll be good for us to get out front early. I think that'll, uh, you know, help settle the crowd down. They're going to have a lot of people here. Um, really, I think we're just going to have to pitch, play defense, and get timely hitting. You know, it's kind of uh, the way our season's gone. You know, um, excellent starting pitching. Uh, our bullpen's been outstanding. So it's just it's up to the bats to get those timely hits and play defense behind them. I think that's going to be the key for us. You guys were pretty young then, but you, do you remember the Arkansas Virginia game, College World Series walk off home run? I remember that whole situation. This would be a rematch from that. Yeah, definitely. I think we've all seen the video uh, a couple dozen times now, but uh, that was definitely a special moment. I, 
I bet uh, Coach Van Horn remembers it really well. But yeah, I've definitely seen the video, and you know, hopefully we can bring some of that momentum with us, or maybe make some more magic. Yeah, that uh, that video we watched that a couple times last year uh, gives you chills, and uh, to be a part of something like that, I bet that was that was insane. Uh, hopefully the game's not that close tomorrow where that has to happen, but uh, if it is, hopefully it goes our way again. Going back to the fans a little bit, the fans that were here for you guys, they're loud. They're just as loud as they are. Bob, talk about kind of having a little bit of that environment here. Uh, we've got some of the best fans in college baseball. I think that shows with the attendance and all that. Um, and they travel well, too. We've got a, a pretty good group that travels everywhere we go. Um, they've been in all the road games. And uh, can't ask for better fans than that. Take one more question for the student athletes, if there is one. If not, thanks, fellas. Y'all, y'all can leave. Hey, Dave. Tom Murphy again. What did you think of Guns Alley, and did you consider going for him? You know, I thought I thought uh, Gunn threw extremely well. Um, you know, he they swing. They've got some good hitters, and uh, they took some good swings and started mixing that changeup up a little bit. It seemed like they were on his breaking ball, so we basically went with fastballs and changeups, um, threw some breaking off-speed pitches to left-handed hitters. But you know, for him to come in and and get through that uh, that lineup one time, and that's what he did. That's what we were hoping. Um, I think he faced that maybe the nine hole hitter twice. And uh, I was nervous there, but uh, I just wanted them to see him once. Uh, and it, it, it was the bridge to get us to Stone. And, uh, you know, he got it done. So I just thought he had a tremendous outing. And I don't remember what your other question was. That was it. Okay. I think you touched on it early, but Anderson's home run in the second. What kind of a lift was that for the dugout after the adventure that that Oliver yeah. had been through? Well, you know, you know, very rarely do you get out of an inning like that without giving up two or three runs. For us, to only give up one. That was a big lift, and 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 I think probably more. Of, we just slowed them down mentally over in that dugout by hitting that home run. I mean, they were rolling. Uh, they, they 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 probably felt, felt like at the time that. You know, even though they only scored one, they were going to get after us pretty good, and they could have. And uh, Brian hit that home run. You know, but then you think about what Lambert did to us right after he did that. I think he struck out the side. So, I mean, he's pretty good. But it was a, it was a momentum changer, definitely. It evened it up. I mean, in score, mentally, I think it evened it up. And, and then when Chris went out and didn't give up a run there in the top of the third, I think that was big for us. Uh, looking ahead to tomorrow, obviously, you know, you guys kind of expected to play Virginia. What do you do to prepare you guys for kind of a quick turnaround at, you know, the number one seed? Well, I mean, we knew we knew we had our hands full coming out here, and believe me, we did not look past Liberty one bit, and uh, we could easily have, you know, lost that ball game. We could have gotten whipped, actually, the way it went, and I feel very fortunate again to win it, playing Virginia. Obviously, I made the comment the other day, you know, I hope that we have an opportunity to play them. Um, their pitching staff is incredible. Anytime you can throw your number four pitcher on an uh, opening game and you've got all three weekend starters left, that's, that's amazing. And, you know, they rolled right through the first game. The game that you just saw us play, we've been playing those all year, trust me. And we're just used to tight games, back and forth. Uh, but, uh, you know, what do you do? You just you play the season. You go through the SEC. You play these type of teams. And, uh you know, you hope that uh, you get into certain situations that the experience of the season helps you. And uh, you make a play or a pitch, and you don't panic, and you just you play the game. And, uh, you know, if we don't make any mistakes, we got a chance to win. The pitcher's awfully good, and they're very fast, a lot of left-handed hitters. Um, and they're pro prospects up and down that lineup and in that bullpen. And, you know, it's going to be a huge challenge, but I know that our guys are excited that we're getting the opportunity to play them. Did you, uh, did you get a chance to, to look much at Nathan Kirby before you entered this weekend at all? Just video. 
I turned it off pretty quick. <laughs> it's pretty good. You know, uh, I'll have the opportunity to coach him this summer with Team USA, so, you know, I'll get to look at him this summer enough probably, hopefully. You had Simpson up in the second. Just curious, how close were you to going and get all of that? Um, real close. I mean, it didn't look like it was going to turn around. You know, you know, he, he went 3-1 on the hitter. The hitter starts running down the line on the next pitch. He ends up striking him out. Then he, then he hits the next batter. Um, that's when it was just about over, and then he comes back and strikes out the next two, I think. He was probably two hitters away. I mean, we knew we needed to get try to get through that inning, you know, maybe give him another run or two, but that, that we couldn't go any farther than that. What do you think Jake Wise gave you t tonight? And uh, is Beats any more <laughs> update on Beats? Yeah, you know, Wise just he catches extremely well. You know, he called most of that game. Uh, we have him look in the dugout. You know, when Gosser catches, we're calling the pitches for the most part. Um, Jake's got a pretty good feel back there. And, you know, he just – I think what he does is he brings a lot of confidence to our pitchers that they can bounce balls in the dirt with two strikes. Runners on third, doesn't matter. Um, you know how well he can throw. And we didn't have to try to throw anybody out tonight. And I think maybe they didn't run a little bit because they were worried about it because he's thrown out so many runners. But uh, – just a lot of confidence he brings to our pitchers. And then uh, Jalen Beeks is, uh, you know, he's available for a few hitters, um, maybe an inning or two. I don't know, you know, exactly. Uh, he's thrown off the, the mound one time and, you know, since he got hurt, and that was the other day, but he's been building it back up and he feels no pain, but he's going to be rusty, you'd think. But uh, he's ready to, he wants to get out there and it looks like physically he's able to. Take one more question for Coach Van if there is one. Kind of ask you about the, the rematch from the CWS either that I asked the players about. Well, I wouldn't call it a rematch because there's no players on the team anymore that are the same. It's just, yeah, but, uh, you know, that was a, that was an incredible game, you know, and we had to, uh, you know, not only the, the two-strike, two-run homer to tie it in the ninth, I mean, obviously that was extremely exciting for us and, uh, but I remember that uh, the winner of that game was going to have to play LSU with their seven left-handed hitters in the lineup, and we had to bring Dallas Keuchel in, who we were saving if we won the game to pitch against LSU. Uh, and Dallas Keuchel, for those of you who don't know, he's a big league pitcher now. He's left-handed. And we had to pitch him like four or five innings, and then we threw a right-handed at LSU, and they whipped us pretty good. Uh, but it was uh, – that was a big win for our program and, you know, gave us a chance to be two and two in that, in that tournament.